This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. 12 U.S. service members were killed when suicide bombers attacked the airport in Kabul Thursday morning. At least 60 Afghans were also killed. Many more civilians and military members were injured. President Biden responded in an address to the nation, promising to use all of his power to find the perpetrators. A Springfield Township mother accused of killing her daughter was in court today. Deanna Robinson's lawyer asked for a continuance in her competency hearing. They want to admit her for medical treatment. Robinson's currently pregnant. According to court documents, she admitted to punching and strangling her four-year-old daughter, Nala, back in April. Hamilton Township police have released the funeral arrangements for four-year-old Emery Shandorf Wood. On Sunday, that search crews found her body in a pond near the Turning Leaf subdivision. A public service will be held at Fellowship Baptist Church in Mainville this Saturday. That's at 1030 a.m. After that, there will be a procession on US 22 to Gate of Heaven Cemetery. Police are asking people to line the route with Emory's favorite colors, blue and purple. For the first time in five weeks, unemployment claims are on the rise again. The latest report from the Labor Department shows unemployment claims rose to a total of 353,000. That is an increase of 4,000 claims from the previous week, but economists expect claims to drop as time goes on. Currently, the economy still needs more than five and a half million jobs filled. That's just to catch up to pre-pandemic levels. Let's get a check of that forecast. Here is Taylor Nimmo. Taylor. Tanya, the heat and humidity are here to stay across the tri-state at least through the weekend. But tonight we cool off to 71 degrees. We do have a slight chance to see some rain overnight. Patchy fog will also develop throughout the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning for your Friday. Tomorrow we'll see a high of 91. Some spotty storms are going to be possible throughout the afternoon and early evening tomorrow, but they will be much more isolated than the rain we saw for your Thursday afternoon and evening. The heat and humidity will continue as we head into the weekend, but the main concern is going to be the heat rather than the rain. This weekend, our temperatures will remain in the 90s, but on Monday, our temperatures will cool back off into the 80s.